January the 1st. It's January the 1st. 2020. 2020. Here with Michael McDonald and yours truly, Anthony Hall. And Anthony Hall. And we're going to do an aging consultation. And the privilege is, from my standpoint, that Anthony did a um, I Ching reading uh, last year, and he's now experienced the year, and so we're going to have that opportunity of reviewing a symbol. Anthony, I don't think you remember last year's consultation, but we did it a year ago, and what you got was hexagram three. Okay. It's called difficulty at the beginning. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, this is a combination of uh, thunder and water. Oh, I remember that. And yeah, it's sure. a hard birth, basically. It's saying everything is chaotic. Shocking. Going in 50 directions. And that the superior man, uh, the, uh, the Junsi in this situation, the, the right way to act, you have to adopt to these energies. So it says that the superior man brings order out of chaos. Mm. Your year was supposed to have begun, if this is an accurate With chaos. Meeting with stuff going in, yeah, chaos, going in a lot of directions, and then you being the superior person, bring order out of chaos, and so it's like going to work in a wet, chaotic environment, rolling sleeves up. But that's what chaos's gift is. <laughs> Lots of possibility. Order. If you can create order out of chaos, then that's chaos's gift. And there's implicit order. Exactly, yeah. And so part of what you're doing is sensing the lines and directions. Now, did that happen in your life as far as um, you were kind of like contemplating retiring this year, mm, right? Did you, well, you, do you want to give the reading on... Well, yeah, the thing right. is, was, as we go forward, the hexagram three had a, a changing line six. Okay. And then the line six is the transcendent one. Uh, the, the almost not a lot of free will with it. Line one is no before things begun, and line to. six, things are already over, okay. in a sense, or it's a transcendent thing that's happening. On I, th I saw the transcendent aspect to it as Did being you? the greatest gift. Did you feel a change as far as your understanding, spirituality? No, or spiritual, your... my spiritual base, just, I, I am grateful exceedingly grateful because my spiritual base remains my base but what happened was in the chaos that began the year was the chaos of the emotions of dealing with so many other people's needs right a busy real estate practice uh, and and children family. and <laughs> just friends and everything right okay there was so much demand of me to be able to be what other people needed me to be for them. And the key, in my mind, was that's all very well and good, but I always focus on my truer self in order to be able to do any of that, otherwise it's all rubbish. Because then I'm just at, at wit's end. But beginning the year, it was, it was very demanding. And the uh, question was, what in the hell? Do I really want to do this? <laughs> what the? You know, it's not worth it for the money, I'll tell you that. Because nothing's worth it for the money if it takes you to a place inside yourself where you become resentful, angry, those kind of emotions, because you're beginning to become overwhelmed. Line six can be overwhelmed. Um it can be a pile up of too much stuff, you know what I mean? It's a cumulative well, journey I, I from tell one you, through it, six. Yeah, it was, uh, and so I actually didn't get over the hump until around about midway in the year. I would say July. I had flattened it out, internally and externally. Well, you know that when a hexagram line changes, then that you have two hexagrams. Right. The yeah. given and the received. So when we change line six of hexagram three, it changes into a really good hexagram. I wanted to talk to you about that. It's called increase. Yes. And it's supposed to actually be, uh, the, the text says, you know, an out-and-out uh, an out increase, like gifts from heaven type deal, where uh, riches, um, a, a, a more rich life in a lot of different ways that it can be, but the thing resolves itself into a hexagram called increase. Well, okay? it definitely did that. So you ended up with the way it all ended resolving, uh, being in a, uh, 
advantageous, well, productive the, year. The greatest ad, the greatest advantage that I experienced over that year uh, and going through that change, line six, was that um, after July, it was like I was on auto. Everything was now operating within the framework of everything else that I'd set up in the ba in the past, mm. in, within this year, or maybe within the last three or four years, actually. But what happened was by going into that that by by stepping back, by not trying to control everything or the outcome of things, by just having faith and just doing what needed to be done. And letting it be God's will. Everything got handled. It was like completely an act of uh, faith. And, 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 and it was because I couldn't deal with that shit anymore. <laughs> it was too much. I had to just let go. Letting go was the key? Letting go was the key. All right, because you had a moving in line on position six, and uh, you had to let go. So that's Because really I didn't cool. have a choice. Because there was, not, there was no way that I was working it that was working out. Okay. Okay. Well, and, and, and the increase at the end of it was that, and this is important, the increase I experienced at the end of it was I was free again. I was free from concern. I was free from any kind of worry. I was free from trying to figure out what comes next. I, I just freed myself. I just... Like That's an increase. That is, that is an increase. When the man has more free time and is enjoying that stuff better. Well, freedom That's an from increase. within. Yeah. Yeah, that's the true freedom. Yeah. All right, well, now it's time to jump into that line Zoom six right. because we've been avoiding it, or I didn't even tell you at the time. Okay. So, anyway, you the thought imagery. thought that was for my best? Yeah, because of the negative forecast. Possible. And because this is an area that a traditional I Ching did go ahead and make what was called judgments, which is making a judgment, and, and uh, good, good and bad, in other words. There's good hexagrams, bad hexagrams, good symbols, bad symbols. Now, in my book, I have a really great book called I Ching Self-Change, as you may know. It's but, right here on the table. <laughs> that's Anne's book. But oh, I'm arguing oh, okay. in there that, yeah, right. uh, you know what I mean, that an archetype is inherently not positive or negative. What happened was, uh, an archetype, an example, would be the Great Mother. Okay, if you approach this with a positive attitude, then you get symbols like the meadow, uh, the breast, milk, the cow, um, cloth, something that keeps you warm. You know, there's a whole bunch of mother, right. yeah, hills, mm -hmm. a whole bunch of mother But this symbols. wasn't one of them. And then if you have a negative attitude, then from the same archetype you get the abyss, uh, the witch, uh, the harmful uh, demon that comes after you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that there's no inherent good and evil in the archetype, but the attitude towards it. Mm -hmm. gotcha. So what I'm trying to say is I think in ancient China they had a negative attitude towards line six. The whole thing in, in uh, uh, difficulty at the beginning is the horse and wagon. Which and that's primal, first? horse is the power and the wagon is the ability to do something with the power and is the horse ever going to hook up with the wagon? Okay. Difficulty at the beginning, all through the thing, the horse and wagon are not getting together or there's problems. You got one of the worst horse and wagon ones with line six, horse and wagon part. Now on other ones, uh, they get warnings. Actually, line four got horse and wagon part, but it says strive for union. You can have good fortune. Line six because says, without union, you're not going anywhere. The horse is gone and the wagon's sitting there. Yeah, because the difficulty, the mother and father first gotten together, it's a birth, everything is chaotic, and you know what I mean? It's a chaotic situation. So is the creative part together with the receptive part is the mind together with the body is the creative inputs together with the sense of being in life and plodding along you know there's a lot of horse and wagon stuff are you create are you hooked up productively to your creative energy right the horse is your freedom and stuff you got they part bloody tears flow mm. thanks a lot but i actually it isn't a birth it's got some blood and water flowing out of birth. Well, we're talking, uh, there's no other way, is there? 
All right, and then okay, so this is an example. But of, I understand of a negative, why you didn't tell me. Yeah, and here's a negative. Didn't want to the year is over, so we can do it. safe. <laughs> but here's the negative commentary, and he's summarizing three thousand years of Chinese tradition. It says the difficulties at the beginning are too great for some people. They get stuck. They never find their way out. They fold their hands and they give up. This resignation is very sad and so Confucius actually. This we have a comment from Confucius, and he said, "Bloody tears flow. Don't let this keep happening. Stop. Yeah, stop it, what's happening. Stop Don't it let now. The bloody f tears." Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, then I'm a very fortunate man. Well, what I did, and it's part of the deal, is I read Anne's uh, non-judgmental aging. To oh, six. You. I switched from Wilhelm oh, Baines. Oh, when you were, we were doing it. And, and it, what Anne does is she never reacts. She doesn't care about the tr uh, Chinese tradition. She reacts to water coming together with thunder and with the fact that the whole thing, when it changes at line six, changes to uh, a hexagram called the increase. So when she saw this, she went, wow, it's a good line that changes the increase. Because she so, came from a position of... Non-judgment. Non she was looking at the same archetype without going, oh my God. Because she didn't the have the history that yeah. went behind it. And actually they say that, you know, that the, uh, the changes, uh, that those who wrote the changes had great care and sorrow. This was not written by flighty-minded people. Uh, China was a place of great suffering and they looked on half these symbols. Mm. And went, you know, I'm going to give a warning here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, what Anne said was, when the top line changes from yin to yang, the upper trigram becomes wind, we form hexagram 42, called increase. Your wisdom has grown and spreads far and wide, leaving seeds everywhere. You know, that's an interesting statement right there, because I found that not I didn't per se saw myself as being more uh, knowledgeable. But I did find myself over the course of the year being able to communicate spread the seeds in a way that absolutely pinpointed what I wanted to say so much more specifically. That was a, that was an enlightened moment because I actually saw that in my own uh, communication. Well, I like that uh, because again we're into the imagery here of spreading seeds, mm -hmm. and then that's the wind imagery. That would be it, after. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, uh, so your and, wisdom and spreads right far and there. wide, uh, spreading seeds everywhere. Well, I saw it as better. Who knows? <laughs> On the other hand, you know, you could take a, a backwards kind of deal off of Wilhelm and go. Well, he says that what happens is that the difficulties are too great, and the poor son of a bitch just gives up. Actually, in your narrative, you did say, I had to stop struggling at a certain point. That's right. You know what I mean? His, there is an echo even of what correct. he was doing. In a, yeah, in a way, you just have to adapt it. But because, this is scary because it can it, be overwhelming just from the reading in the beginning. Yeah, what if you'd have started the year with the idea that uh, if I'd have said, Anthony, geez, I'm sorry to tell you, bloody tears flow, here's for your Not year, the difficulties <laughs> are too great for some people, they never find their way out, they give up and they become so sad that they're the saddest of all human beings on the face of the earth. And Confucius said, oh shit, look at this guy. It you happens. Know, yeah. It would have been a. It would have been an example of mishandling well, symbolism. Yeah, I or think there's a responsibility that the the uh, interpreter, yeah, yourself, has to the person who's reading your casting, uh, because uh, there is responsibility here. And now that the year's over, though, we can you're look free, back. You're free of the responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to mess you up anymore yeah, with predictions. Nice. Yeah, good one. But we did get in there. We did see a little stab. There was and some element read, of getting up. You did read me Anne's, though. I remember but, you gave me yeah. Anne's at the time. And, and she says... Uh, uh, increase. Uh, yeah, yeah, increase, yeah, and, and that's and, what I told and, you. And that was the resonance. That was the last word to it, in a way, was that uh, through trial and tribulation... Uh, outcome would be increase. And that's what I took with me last year, same day. 2019, January the 1st. Tribulation, troubles, but increase in the end. But the increase was of a nature that was internal and external at the same time. A See, sense of riches, uh, inner riches as well. As well as external. external. Yeah, because, yeah. My, my position financially changed as well.
Well, let me read then from Hexagram 42, which I haven't done. And here we'll go to Wilhelm and the traditional deal. The idea of increase here they're relating is that it's a, a decrease in the upper in the favor of the lower. A decrease of the higher that produces an increase of the lower's out and out increase. The spirit that alone has the power to help the world. The judgment, it furthers one to undertake something to even cross the great water. Even a great dangerous enterprise can be done. It says, uh, when uh, sacrifice on the people above for the sake of those below, and the people will feel gratitude. Uh, when the people thus are devoted to their lead leaders, undertakings are possible, and even difficult enterprises will succeed. Therefore, in such times of progress and successful development, it's necessary to work and make best use of the time. This time resembles that of the marriage of heaven and earth when the earth partakes of the creative power of heaven forming and bringing forth living beings. See we had birth there and now we got birth over here. So the time of increase doesn't endure therefore get busy and make hay while the sun shines. Mm -hmm. See? So um, yeah, anyway, so actually, uh, an opportunity comes along you either make the most of it uh, if you see it for what it is rather than what you want from it. Uh, I think, honestly, the key remains with a correct interpretation of the opportunities that are being presented to you and not judging them as being negative or positive, but as ways of being able to move through. Well, look, I also feel that it should be said that uh, it was a line six and uh, you met the uh, challenge that you faced. Well, thank you very spirit, much. <laughs> a spiritual attitude. No, God would. <laughs> uh, was what you said sustained you all the way through it was that your spirituality Spiritual. was the uh, maintaining force there. And then it did actually get difficult. It did. And there was a, way, a sense in which you did give up. The thing well, that's, that's good to give up in a co-creative event. You're not supposed to be hammering the whole deal yourself. It's supposed to be co-creative. I think the thing that uh, is, yeah, it's supposed to, well, it is co-creative. Yeah. It's not supposed to be, it is. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the gift was that, and I've had many of my clients, just talking about the real estate section, many of my clients have come to me and said, I have faith in you. And my response is, well, that means you have faith. So, you know, that, that makes all the difference. It's just uh, not belief. Faith is like grace. You know, grace is the mother of faith. Oh. Grace is the mother of faith? Mm -hmm. Well, they said, said that in the uh, uh, Christian tradition, that uh, even without... Uh, uh, God's help, you couldn't even have faith in God. That You needed God's help to even do that. So You're saying without you grace, would have there's to have no grace. faith. Yeah, exactly. Even faith is a, yeah, given to you. Well, the belief gift. is in and of itself just uh, a set of prescribed um, doctrine. Uh, and and I, I don't really go down that road at all because it's somebody else's interpretation of uh, so many years of whatever it is they want out of you for their ends. That's belief systems. I believe in this. I, I'm not going to say what, but it doesn't matter. But the point is that when you have a line six, you have a mature spirituality that's being active. You had a line six moving for the whole year, and then you sat here and told me it was my spirituality, as I've come to understand it, that was the supporting factor to get me. The translation. Yeah, yeah. And they, actually, I think even, couldn't you say that the yielding or giving up that did happen was more like, I can't do this, and so I'm going to yield it to another power or something? Well, the thing is, uh, I speak to my sister in England, and, and, uh, and she has whatever going on. And I said, well, go with the flow. And she goes, oh, you're so California. <laughs> 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 but, you know, I'm a 60s kid. Yeah. And uh, hippie. And I, I've been practicing going with the flow for a long time. So yeah, give me an obstacle and I just say I release myself from whatever it is. I'll stay focused, I'll stay present. Present is key because if you travel off to some other genre, mindset, mentality away from actually what's occurring in your life, you're missing, you're, you're not catching the ride.
whatever it is. Mm. So for me, uh, that's a, a fairly practiced uh, activity is going with the flow. But again, I think you're right too. I think that the level of overwhelm from the, uh, as I said before, the wants, needs, and aspirations of others upon my person was at some point just too demanding, too much. Actually, the way out of it was it was a yielding. You you had to yield your way out of yeah, it. Yeah, I, I yield. Her. The knight bends his knee. I yield. <laughs> but it, it turned out to be the perfect. Oh, that's the wrong kind of yielding. <laughs>